Well, folks, here we are, Monday morning. Um, we are off to see a uh, 4.4 TDV8 uh, Range Rover up in Birmingham, about an hour away. Uh, gonna go up in the Jag, uh, potentially trading that in. Um, although I highly doubt it. Uh, looking at the figures that was quoted, uh, there's about 1,500 quid in it. I have got my trusty flashlight. I've got my Bluetooth dongle, uh, two essential bits of kit. Uh, to check the car out on the way, try a vlog style uh, video um, and see where we get to. Well, here we are, Birmingham, uh, Fort Used Car Centre, a eh? family run business. Um, they get pretty good reviews um, on Auto Trader, so we'll go and have a little look and uh, see what we can see. He says it's in the showroom, which is always nice for viewing. Um, hopefully, they'll. Um, treat us with some sort of respect. Well, a little bit. <laughs> see if we've got any coffee. All right, then. Thank you. <laughs> Jacuzzi. Hi, are you Sam? I am, yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hello, you How are you right? doing, Sam? I'm good, thank you. Very nice well. Good to come down? Yeah. Brilliant. So I'm no dozer when it comes to used car purchases. I used to have a used car business back in the past, restoring everything from a Citroen DS two uh, Audi Quattros, etc. I used to have an L322 as my daily driver. Uh, I've done about uh, three years and 45,000 miles in them. So it's fair to say that I know the car is inside and out. But no, it definitely looks well in that blue, doesn't it? It's definitely, yeah. I, I, I love the color combination. Yeah, yeah. that's what I like. The green. Yeah, there aren't that many around them. No, have. no. Well, it's from factory. You have to build it from factory like that. Yeah. Um, so it's got blue tube in as well on the seat. Yeah. Very well. Pretty nice. I love these tires. Yeah. You know what? Pretty. Pretty, pretty. Once you want to get it out, I'll take it out. Yeah. I'll put the tray plate in. Whatever car you're in, if you don't mind leaving that key. No. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we don't. So we don't okay. disappear with it. Um, I've got a little um, diagnostics reader. Do you mind if I plug that in at yeah. some stage? Is that all right? I'll not be reprogramming it. I'll just be reading the codes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If there are any. No. So um, I'm playing, uh, playing nice. Um, I'm taking it all in. Um, salesmen uh, have a, a tendency to try and distract you when you get around to bits and pieces that uh, they maybe don't want you to see. So bear that in mind. Uh, we'll continue looking around the car and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see what the story is. Uh, I've been really nice so far asking if I can uh, plug in my diagnostics. I've asked could I uh, do a little bit of uh, filming um, for my YouTube channel. So, uh, um, well, let's see. Let's see what happens. What's the story with the dodgy registration on it? Uh, it's not dodgy. It's just the way it's come with it. Quite oh, dodgy. It's a Northern Irish one. I know it is. So, it's not dodgy. Um, it's, no, no, I, I know it's not. Um, uh, oh, have you got some? Um, the cover, if it goes up. Look at the rear, the rear cover. It doesn't come with one now, unfortunately. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, we've only, uh, we've only just met the sales guy, but now I'm forming an impression. Um, I'm still being really nice. Um, I'm just taking the information in and I'm listening. He doesn't really know me from Adam and how well I know these cars. Um, I had one for about three years, so I'm fully well aware. Um, that they all came with a parcel shelf. Um, now, in itself, not a great deal, but it will cost probably uh, about 150 quid uh, to replace this. Because they know they they fall back, don't they? Yes, you were you were wanting the um, the, d the dog. Ah, so if you're going to purchase a dog card, God, you, you wouldn't be able to put a cover in anyway. It's not integral, is it not? No. I can't, there you go. I can't remember, it's been so long since I had mine. So let's just pause it there. I'm still playing nice, but now I have formed uh, an ultimate conclusion on this sales guy. Um, he says uh, it's not integral. I know it's not integral, but it fits over the top of the parcel shelf um, and it retracts into a little receptacle there. This is an ex-Jaguar Land Rover salesman. 
and uh, basically um, he's now telling me anything that I want to uh, hear deflecting uh, direct questions. Um, it's, uh, it's at this point that I need to proceed with caution. Russ, I'm, I'm going to have to come out with this in a minute. Yeah. yeah. Can I get it out first? Guys? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what? You sort yourself, yeah. aren't you? But it seems straight. It seems straight enough, you know. Oh, it's got a new light for that on the back. Yeah. But so is this one. You look at this one. This one's got your LED lights at the back as well. Look. Oh yeah. So at this point, I get on my back, raise the car up to its full extent, uh, lower it down to its uh, full extent, uh, make sure that the air suspension and the ride heights and everything else are uh, behaving normally. Uh, it's important that you check underneath the car, all the pipes and pipe work, the bushes. Uh, most importantly on these, they have a tendency to leak around the rocker cover gasket, so uh, can make for a very oily engine. So no smiles here, uh, no uh, oily bits, underneath but bearing in mind this had just been uh, prepared for sale so could well have all been cleaned up and steam cleaned uh, prior to its MOT etc. Uh, that was all good. Big flag for me was the simple fact that uh, the codes, the error codes um, had all been cleared um, in the last three days. Uh, possibly as a result of servicing that would be normal routine to clear all codes at the point. Um, it had driven nine miles since so um, big flag there we were going to have to take it for a run and I would then check the diagnostics uh, once again after we had come back off our journey. So here we have it not very often a, a dealer just says there, there's some trade plates and go for a run so that's um, that was pleasantly surprising. Uh, had a good look around the car, didn't do too much filming, but I did ask Sam if it was okay if we did, and he was fine with that. Um, it's well specced, uh, front and rear heated seats, it's got the TV, it's got all the other bits and pieces. Uh, not sure whether it's got the adaptive cruise control on it or not. So there we go, just found a quiet spot to pull over. Um, have a look around the car. It looks straight enough, you know. Uh, by Xenons, LED front and rear, headlamp wash. Um, is it running? So it's got the Scorpion, Pirelli Scorpions on 19s. Okay, um, those are uh, snow rated tires. So there you go, straight into France without any bother. Rear brake discs possibly down the line. No tow bar with it, although it's got the Preparation 4. Not sure whether they all came with that or not, but kind of pretty with the LED lights, last of this updated version. We'll get back and do a bit of uh, negotiations off camera um, and see if we can't uh, see if we can take it away. Uh, the only issues that we've found is the fact that on the previous MOT they mentioned about uh, rear subframe bushes uh, perishing. On the latest MOT, it got through with no advisories. Um, he didn't. Uh, he didn't feel that the rear bushes uh, necessitated a, a bit of a, an advisory. Doesn't mean to say that they're not deteriorated. Uh, there is only one key comes with a car as well. He reckons about 150 quid um, and there is no rear parcel shelf. So to get one of those, I've checked on eBay, uh, about 150 quid. Uh, second key is uh, less. Uh, so, so maybe we can do a deal. Uh, we can give him the full asking price of the car, provided he provides a, a second key, perhaps. Um, and I'll maybe go to Range Rover and see what uh, four rear subframe bushes were actually cost to get replaced. Um, so on that basis, we're going to find our way back to the dealership. Very happy with the color combination. Um, yeah, it's really good. Really good. Yeah, Very yeah. Happy it's with nice it. and the headlining and it's it's clean and uh, you know what? Um, looking underneath, it's dry, which is really important for these engines as well. Aircon works. Heated steering wheel works. Heated seats work front to back. Um, yeah, it's 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 a lovely, well presented uh, machine. Um, just checking all the bits and pieces. You're missing a cigarette lighter there. That might be a deal breaker. Well, let's go. <laughs> let's go back and talk to him, and uh, and and see whether he's going to uh, uh, do any business or not. They either want to sell the car today or they don't. Um, it's as simple as that. So sometimes that can be 
uh, the difference between um, if, if he agrees to it uh, the, the two bits and pieces it's a no-brainer we'll take the car um, if not well we'll have to uh, do a bit of phoning around and see what it's actually going to cost so we went back to the dealership and uh, had a bit of uh, a chat with Sam now in negotiations it's always really really difficult when you've already put a holding deposit on the car at a specific price so your ability to just walk away from the deal um, diminishes somewhat uh, perhaps we would have been better off um, not putting a deposit if the car was there it was there we'd have a look around it um, and unless they could come up with some sort of a deal we just shrug our shoulders and uh, walk out the door uh, we didn't have this option um, it turned out that the one key was uh, they never advertised two keys that's the way it goes um, so we had little negotiation on that um, it turns out that Land Rover in the end we're looking close to a thousand pounds um, to add in one key we found an independent specialist that would do it um, all in for just over 300 quid uh, and ultimately that's what we ended up uh, doing uh, parcel shelf would be 150 quid uh, a tow bar would be uh, 320 second hands and that's the uh, Westphalia uh, removable one that they fit uh, to the Range Rovers so that was it um, full asking price uh, close on uh, 16 grand the prices have gone up on these significantly certainly over the last 18 months uh, but it's a nice car and a good color combination and uh, i hope uh, robin really enjoys it well there we have it folks uh, one range rover is bought um, um, we have seen previous photographs of the car with a tow bar fitted, but it wasn't uh, their advertised photographs. Um, they remove the car once a deposit is put down uh, from Auto Trader, so <laughs> very little chance to check it all out ourselves. Only thing we've got to sort out then is to uh, swap over the insurance, uh, drive the car away. Uh, ended up paying full list price, but I've given it a good going over as well. Um, there's no codes, and uh, it all it all checks out. Uh, perhaps uh, rear subframe bruises down the line they're going to be less than a thousand pounds to do certainly at the main dealer and of course there's specialists out there to do that so i really hope that robin is uh, is happy with his new purchase um fair play to the lads um, they drove a, a fairly hard bargain uh, but the uh, the car was priced right at the bottom end of the uh, the bracket it's absolutely glorious and uh, stand by for a full review in the near future Thanks very much for uh, stopping by and checking in. Um, new addition to the garage. All the best now. Bye-bye.